We'll, we'll find out we what came of that bout. Into the blue corner. Please welcome the boxer presenting Uzbekistan, Shekhubidin Zuirov. But uh, Zoyrev, 27 years old, the defending Olympic champion, blue corner. I can tell you that Brendan Irvin is injured. That's why that bout is not happening. He won through to the semi final. So, local favorite, Daniel Asanov. His nickname is Tyson. He's on. And he will face the winner of this. An easy day at the office, the walkover. Although, again, given the situations, I, I think they probably would like to would like to, to do battle. <laughs> but here we go. Komar in red, Zwerov, blue. Zwerov, you can see Southpaw stance. Rio 2016 gold medalist, reigning world champion. But he was beaten in the Asian Olympic qualifiers. He has qualified for Tokyo, but he was beaten in the semi-finals by the teenager from Thailand, Thitisan Panmot. He's up against Deepak Kumar, Asian Championships silver medalist, turned 23 last month. He defeated the home favourite, Darislav Vasilev, 5-0, unanimous decision in the quarterfinals. This is a big test for Deepak. Yes, it is. As you know, uh, Zwirev already off to a good start as a professional, 3-0 and as a pro boxer. Back to defend his Olympic title in Tokyo. Deepak quitting himself quite well mm -hmm. early on, but Zwirev just landing a few more shots in the first minute or so of this opening round. Deepak, part of a, an outstanding Indian boxing program. Many of them uh, have decided not that they're preparing for a, a big event next week in Spain. That's right. Deep. Deciding not to come here, but Deepak Omar is here and already bronze medal, looking for more. And he's having some success there. Head and body shots from Deepak. Zoyra fires back. Deepak takes those on the gloves and fires back well. Hear the exhortations from the Indian corner. Sawyer off on the attack. Approaching the last 30 seconds of round one and an interesting first round. Counter from Deepak and Zoyrov Whoa. is back. Well, is that a I think that's a slip. I thought that was a slip. And yeah, when a man's down, you don't do that. Oh, boy. It's good from Zoyrov. Yes, it is. Ten seconds to go in round one. But that was a good shot there from Deepak. He just seems to be the slightly the quicker I of the two. I was going to say, he seems quicker. That was an intriguing first round. That was. Hopefully we'll see that slip again. Those were just catching gloves, except that left caught. Let's see the slip here coming up. We have it. Not sure we're going to see it, but... Deepak, certainly not intimidated no, by no. the stature of his opponent. He is ready to go, and yeah, he, he tripped over his leg by the look to yes. it. Yes. Seconds out. So, who would you give that to? <laughs> I'm always going to put you on the spot, Rory. You're the... Thanks, Tom. The eyes and ears. Round two. Ah, that's as close to even as I, I imagine we've seen. 
I, I still can't, I'm not committing. That was a good right there from Deepak on the counter. And again. I see, I sense a little more urgency now from Zwerov. Oh, that's a good well, right from Deepak. Right. Just a bit fussy from the referee. I'll just let them get on with it. This was this is developing into a really good contest. First time we've we've noticed uh, referee involvement. Some are definitely more fussier than others. More fussier? More fussy, I should say. Omar certainly has a, a game plan. I mean, he, he's quick and he, he keeps coming forward. Zoyrov has uh, been there, done that, and seen a lot come his way. I think I've gone long enough without having to pick a winner of the first round, but I think Deepak's winning this second. I, I'm, a, I'm on the verge of calling him relentless. Really good boxing from the Indian. That was a big left. Yeah, Zoyrov landing. His best moment of the round. Well, what's happening here? So shoelace? Wardrobe. Shoelace. No, shoelace. Which is a shame for Zoyev because he was just getting up ahead of steam. Our on screen clock didn't stop there, so. That's a few seconds behind. Yeah. We should have done. The, the round won't, will, will go on a little bit longer because mm. of that stoppage to tie Zoyev's shoelace. That shoelace seems to have slowed us down, That's but there's... Some really good shots from Deepak. Yes. And I think the reigning Olympic champion is in a bit of bother here. Yes. Because this young Indian... They clash. Better from Zoyrov, but Deepak looks really up for this. Yes. Ten seconds to go in the round. They're both landing. That was a good second round, and I'd have to give that to the Indian. Deepak is is relentless, and he he's very efficient. You know, he's willing to take a little bit. I haven't seen a lot of wild, wasted effort. I've seen a little bit more activity and and, and effort from Zoyrov, but I agree. I, I think uh, Komar is is working on a, a shot in the finals. Could we be about to see a big upset here? Of course, it's about judges' interpretation. Zoyrov is an Olympic world champion. Reputation does count for something. Second down. Yes, we've seen although before. we have seen reputations dusted here this week we as have, well. We have. We've seen world champions on the wrong end of yes. decisions. So here we go. Let's see what Zoyrov has. Can I think see he a knows bit more he, intent. Can yeah, he, see he knows he needs this round at least. <laughs> and another shoelace. So it's a shame. The footwear guy has observed training sneakers in the <laughs> one of the women's semis, and now we have an errant shoelace. At back we go. Well, he's rocked there. there. That was a big left, though, wasn't it, from Zoyra? Another one, and the body. 
He's a lot more active than he he's is. landing. Deepak just being drawn in a bit and... Took a couple of those on the gloves, did Deepak. But Zoya, if you can see, he's a lot more busy. Yes. Now Deepak back on the offensive. Just not having the success he did in the previous round. Say that, he seems to be getting ahead of steam up again. Halfway through round three. Well, even if he does come through this, the world Olympic champion will know he's been in a contest. Absolutely. I think he still has some work to do, although, again, he does come in with some gravitas. Oh, there's a huge left show. Deepak connects again. Oh, they're both going for it, a bit wild from Zoyer at the end. And Deepak, well, he's been called to stop. Zoyer has had that head a bit low at times. Deepak is now uh, cl cleaning up a little bit in the last 15, 20 seconds. Oh, that's a great straight left from Deepak. And Zoyarov, he's marked around the eyes. Yes. But Zoyarov firing back. Grandstand finish here. To the flyweight semi-final. Oh, oh my goodness. Down, but I thought that was a knockdown. I'd really like to see that one again. We, we will, hopefully, but wow. A flurry at the end for the Indian boxer. And we have a bit more time than the clock says because of that interruption for the shoelace. Looks like a cut there for Zoyra. Yeah. Oh, and that's a good finish from Deepak. Yes. Well, he is unfazed and in great shape. Wow. Zoyarov puts up his arm, so does Deepak. The Indian corner look happy. Here we go. Yeah. We've, we've, we haven't been uh, questioning the, any of the decision-making so far by the judges, and I, I'm with you. I, I think uh, Deepak Komar of India uh, had the better, and uh, in the telling moments of round three, he scored some big punches. That well, looked like a knockdown well, to me. That didn't look like he, a slip. He buckled. I, I think that's a knockdown. Yeah, he buckled I it. think that's a knockdown. Yes. I have to give this to Deepak. That Let's would be a 10-8 the then, wouldn't it? You'd think, maybe. We'll see. And he gets it. He does. And I think he deserves it. Let's Delight see. Delight in the Indian corner. Wow. Pretty close. Two 30-27s.